Now we have a 20-year-old man who survived a shark attack off the Florida Keys sharing his story and the terrifying moment the shark latched onto him. Victor Okendo is in Miami Beach and has the latest on that story for us. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Robin. This man was spearfishing in about 70 feet of water and was on his way up for air when the shark bit. He started losing a lot of blood and the race was on to get help. This morning, a shark attack in the Florida Keys. I just remember feeling the pressure of his jaw just closing on my leg. A bull shark biting 20-year-old college student Kevin Blanco. His friends frantically calling for help. A shark attack, shark attack outside of Marathon. We need an air rescue, please. It's really bad. Blanco and two friends were spearfishing when he felt the shark latch onto his leg. I yelled underwater. All my air came out. I was scared for my life. Blanco's friend immediately helped him to the surface and back to the boat. He was bleeding badly. I got on the boat, took off my weight belt, tied it across my on my leg as a tourniquet, pulled as hard as I could. I was losing a lot of blood. Our affiliate WPLG obtained police body camera footage showing Blanco being treated before he was transported to a Miami hospital. But it was just the pressure of my leg getting squeezed on that was horrible. The incident taking place nearly two weeks after 13-year-old Ella Reed was bitten by another bull shark, leaving her with 19 stitches, bite marks on her arms, knees, and stomach. Although shark attacks are rare, there were 41 unprovoked shark attacks reported in 2022, and 16 of those cases were in Florida alone. You shouldn't swim alone. You shouldn't be too far offshore just in case something untoward does happen. After three surgeries, Blanco is now on the mend. Thank God that to be able to walk again and share the story of why the ocean could be so dangerous but awesome at the same same time. Blanco says that he sees the shark every time he closes his eyes. He thinks about it before he goes to sleep, but he knows he is lucky the shark missed a major artery and there was no nerve or muscle damage. Guys, a lucky young man, Victor. Okay, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.